well as we've ever seen him, 55% from the floor. Throw it back to you, Gar. All right, thanks very much, uh, Saint. That, that was good stuff. Hey, Matt, I got one that you're going to think is totally off the wall, but when I see international players, I just can't, I can't help but, but bring this up. When we're growing up, we'd watch the college guys play. We'd get to know them. They go into the NBA. Hey, we're already warmed up to the Georgetown and Ewings right. and Sampson. I, I, the international players are great, but I don't know if NBA fans respond to them like maybe they should. If you're on a winning team... And, and you've got Nowitzki, okay, a superstar like that. But when you load up with international players as they're starting to go, do you think that hurts the league from a fan-friendly standpoint? All right, well, how would I put this uh, yes. in, in a correct manner? The European players tend to be white. Mm -hmm. So they're not necessarily as exciting as black players. Okay. And so maybe they don't have the, uh, maybe there's not the interest because they're not dynamic. Dirk Nowitzki's like a fundamentally sound player. Elijah Wan, even though, you know, he was black, yeah. very fundamentally sound player. Same with Ginobili. Uh, maybe but that's I wasn't why. even, got, that's a good point you brought up, but I wasn't going there so much as, okay, they burst on the scene and they're here. Where at least in college, maybe you've heard but, of a guy. We're losing that in college now. Yeah. The, you're only beginning to establish yourself at the NBA level now. You're not establishing yourself. Nobody's seeing these guys play in college because they don't play in college very much. And nobody sees anybody overseas. So everything starts pretty much at the NBA. Okay, we've discussed, uh, you know, Nowitzki and Sean Mary a little bit. Uh, Butler and Terry, too, are, uh, are part of a group that 